Hello everybody and welcome back to the Bri Rock 75. I'm Brian Lee and today I am here with you for a very fun Disney haul. Hey guys and welcome back. As I just said, I am Brian Lee and you're here with the Bri Rock 75 and today we are doing our very first Disney haul on this channel. I haven't done it yet. I'm really excited about it. And this one is actually a really special haul. So I'm really, really excited to share this with you. But before we dive into it, I do want to say welcome to all of you who are new to this channel. You have not been here before and you just found this little corner of the internet. Welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Um, this is just a happy Disney place. We're gonna do unboxings and openings and pin mail and trading and oh, so much fun Disney love. It really is just a fun little family to gather and share and just experience the love and magic of Disney. So if you are new, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and become part of the Rockstar family and make sure you hit that bell notification so that you know every time I upload new content. If you are a returning Rockstar, well, welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. This is going to be a fun video because this is something that we haven't done on this channel before. We have a Disney haul. And as I said, it is a very special Disney haul. Okay. So basically what has happened is one of my dearest, dearest, bestest buddies, his name is Jake. And um, Jake was at a garage sale or here in Georgia, we call them a yard sale. What do you guys call them? Are they garage sales or are they yard sales? Here, we call it a yard sale because you put all your stuff out in the yard and people just stop on the side of the road and come shop in your yard. So we call it a yard sale. But I know a lot of people do refer to it as a garage sale. But anyway, I digress. Jake was at a yard sale and they had so much Disney stuff and some of this is like vintage-y type. I guess vintage -y type stuff. But anyway, it is a loot of Disney stuff. And he called me up. I wasn't able there to get there. So Jake, being the guy that he is, just went ahead and got it for me so that um, I would have it because I wasn't able to get to the garage sale. So Jake, thank you so much for thinking about me. Thank you so much because you know how much I love Disney and all of its merch. And I have none of this stuff previously. So this is all all new things for me that I, I don't have, haven't had, and it's just so good. So thank you, Jake, so much. You're our, you are the bestest, seriously. Um, and Jake actually has a YouTube channel as well. Uh, he does music. He's an amazing singer, songwriter, pianist, and uh, I will actually link down below his YouTube channel so you can go, or his Instagram and, and YouTube, so that you can go down and check him out and um, cheer him on with his music because he's awesome. So, all right, let's dive right in. So the first thing is so much, I just don't even know where to start. Um, the first thing that I want to show you is this sign, this little plaque. I'm gonna hold it here so you can see. Actually, you can, there we go. I wanted to get the glare off of it. So, laughter is timeless, imagination has no age, and dreams are forever. How true is that? I love it. It's, it's just a small little sign. It's, it's going to fit in perfectly with my backdrop or anywhere in my home, actually. It's wood. It's nice. It's sturdy. It's in great condition. Um, I guess, you know, the person that had, had this stuff was obviously a Disney collector and um, was just changing out their collection or, or moving on or making room for something different. But I'm so thankful that I have become the beneficiar of, or benefactor of all of this stuff. So anyway, this is the first of eight pieces in this Disney lot that we have gotten. So this is my first haul. Um, originally, this sold for $13.99 is the, the tag that's on the back. So this was originally for $13.99, which is pretty awesome. All right, so the next piece is another sign. And a lot of these are, um, it's a lot of different pieces. But anyway, the next thing is another wooden sign, which I am in love with here. And I'll get this one so that the glare is not um, showing for you. There we go. 
So it's Mickey Mouse, classic Mickey with a balloon. And it says, all our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them. All of our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them. This is actually a Walt Disney quote that I love because honestly, the mind is a powerful thing. Affirmation, you can speak things into existence. I'm a strong believer of that. So you speak your mind and you believe in it and the power of suggestion and thought and positivity. And I think this exactly speaks to that about making your dreams coming true. You just have to have the courage to go for it, right? So just whatever it is that's holding you back from achieving your dreams and from going for it, you gotta let that go and you gotta find the courage to pursue your dreams. And as you start to pursue your dreams, you're gonna see that they open up for you. So this is just a, a great positive affirmation and reminder. I love it. I love the classic Mickey look with his balloon. I love the, the wooden background. Again, this is wood too. So originally, um, I, I don't have prices for everything, but I'm just kind of saying, originally brand new, this was $16.99. So an amazing deal already. But um, to find this in a garage sale is just gorge. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay, so now the third piece in this collection that I have just acquired is another sign and it's honestly, my favorite one when i saw this i was just it's so good all right so this one is a little bit thinner but as you can see it looks like a chalk drawing on like a blackboard and it says today is going to be amazing can you see how beautiful that sign is talk about positive affirmation this is something, first of all, this matches my aesthetic completely. I love, it's It's not chalk, clearly it doesn't wipe off. It is printed on there, but it's printed to look like a chalk design. And I love that. Look at that Mickey drawing though. Can you see? And even there's the Mickey head and the little O, there's the clouds, the fleur de lis, the sunshine, there's another hidden Mickey right there. Today is gonna to be amazing. I really think this is something that I would hang up in my living room, maybe close to the front door, to the entry of the home, um, so that every time I go to leave, to go to my car, I see this. Maybe I put it in my bedroom so that when I wake up, first thing I see is, is this affirmation that today is gonna to be amazing because it really, really is gonna be amazing. I love this. This is very thin, as you can see compared to the others. It's super lightweight. Um, original price, I don't know when these were bought originally. Original price tag on this one says $17.99. So already, I mean, you know, for what I paid for the whole lot, gold. Um, but I, I love this and I actually love that it's the two-tone, the gray and the red. I just, I love it. I love the whole chalkboard look. Okay, now we're gonna move away from the signs for just a little bit and this is something that is so cute and gorgeous, but I never would have, honestly, probably picked it up and collected it on my own. This is a Precious Moments Mickey. It's Cowboy Mickey. He's got his cowboy hat on. He's got his lasso, which is actually, the lasso is a copper wire that's shaped, and you can bend it, so maybe I don't have the perfect lasso shape here but um, I can bend it and, and form it to how I want. But he's got his little bandana. He's got guns in his holsters. I'm gonna turn them around here. You can see there's more of his holsters, gloves, his chaps. Um, he's got this little tail, so like a rubbery kind of tail. More of his hat, the banding on it there. There's the bottom of his rope um, for his lasso. I love this. I think it's so cute. And then there's the bottom. As you can see right there, it says Precious Moments on it. And um, it's just called, it's a Precious Moment Disney Showcase. And it is titled Cowboy Mickey. This has a 2013 date copyright on it. So I'm gonna say that this was probably produced in 2013. So yeah, seven years, that's technically not vintage, but this is pretty awesome. I don't, I, Y'all know I collect Jim Shores. Jim Shore is where it's at. I don't have any other kind of figurine or collectible. 
that's like a figurine style, unless it's a Jim Shore. Um, but I'm glad that I have this. I just think it's adorable. I really, really am excited about this. I mean, I don't, it, it doesn't have a price. I don't know what it originally was, but um, I am so excited about it. Is that not the cutest thing you've ever seen? It's one of the cutest Mickeys, honestly. It's that classic Mickey shape, and I absolutely adore it. I'm gonna set him up here. We're gonna let Pluto slide over and share the spotlight with Mickey there. How about that? Yeah, I like it. Okay, next we have some plates. These are, um, it's like a, it's a plastic plate. Um, it's not really, not the traditional Mickey kids plates that you've seen where the ears pop apart or whatever. It is a different section, but it's not separated. You know what I mean? Like there's not a divider between the ears and the head, but you, it, it is enough of a separation that you could put two different things, maybe dipping sauces or something. Um, this though, for me, like, do I need small plates? No. Was it a part of the set of this collection? Yes. So I'm good with it. It's actually four plates. These are perfect for like a little dessert plate, uh, appetizer plate or something, but with, they are black and red and we've got two of each. So I've got two black ones and two red ones. Ooh, <laughs> Um, but I love these. I, I do think that they're great. I think they're a good size. They're going to be very, very cute to decorate a table with maybe. Um, most of my dishes that I use every day are red and white. My kitchen has a lot of blacks, yellows, whites, and reds. Not necessarily Mickey, but in those colors. And I have a lot of, like I said, my dishes are, are red and white. And um, so these are gonna actually go in really well. This isn't something I'll use every day, but you know, if I'm ever having some friends over, hanging out, maybe I'm going on a picnic, these would be perfect to take with me on a picnic. Or if I'm just having something outside and I wanna take a snack outside, these would be great to take because they're that plastic, that hard plastic. So I'm not gonna worry about breaking it on, things like that. Um, I don't know what year these were from, but they do have an original price tag of $3.99 on each plate. So considering that the price tags are still on each plate, I'm gonna say that these probably were not actually used for food. Um, in fact, I can tell they're not because, and I'll show you on the back, they have like a little sticker. Um, I think they were probably stuck to a wall as decoration. So I like that. Um, and maybe I'll use them as that. Maybe, who knows, maybe I should stick one here in my background. What do you think? I don't know, it kind of looks like a balloon from far away. But um, I love these, I think these are, are great. Okay, we've got three more items to show here. And um, I'm gonna go with this one next. This is a cute little sign. It's got my boy Pluto on it. Y'all know, y'all know how much I love Pluto. Mickey and Pluto. And it says, who says we have to grow up? And I agree. Look at that, Mickey and Pluto, he's got his hand on him. Do y'all hang out with your dogs? If you have a dog, do you hang out with them like this? I can with mine, with my bigger dog, Kane. He will absolutely sit beside me and let me wrap my arms around him like that. And it is so precious. I love it so much. But there you see, who says we have to grow up? And it's metal. You can tell it sounds different. Um, but it's just small and thin. It's really, really lightweight. But y'all, as you can see, all of these things are in such good shape. And that's the thing that impressed me because most of the time when you find things like this in a garage sale, it's hit or miss. They're either from a collector who took good care of their things and now they're just moving on to something else or it's just broken stuff. And all of this is so good, it's so good. But I love this, I don't know where I'm gonna put this yet. I don't know where I'm gonna put most of this stuff yet. That's part of the fun is finding out where I'm gonna put it, but I know it will be spread throughout my house. Okay, next. This item is the item that caught my attention to begin with. This is a Mickey Mouse Club. It is a sign. Metal, kind of like a gong, but it is a Mickey Mouse Club. Um, just like a, a disc, a metal disc. I don't know what else you would call it. 
<laughs> other than a disc. Um, but I love it. It has the original Mickey Mouse Club logo. It even says Mickey Mouse Club on it. And it's it's big, it's metal, it's three almost like a 3D effect. You can see it's kind of concaved in here. If you're familiar with Hobby Lobby, a lot of times you know their home decor has that metal. That's what this is. This actually did come from Hobby Lobby. Original price was $25.99, according to the price tag there. Um, and it's got a little hook to hang it with. Gosh, is that not gorgeous? It's bigger than my head. I love it. I think this is so cute. I love the distressed look. It's actually, it looks like it's it's been out for a while. It looks like it's rusty. It's not, that's actually the painting on it. It's made to look like that. Um, and you can see it's got it all the way around. It looks like it's been hanging outside and weathered. I absolutely love this aesthetic. I think I'm, I'm probably gonna put this, I have a, a like a coat closet in my living room and I think this would look really, really cute hanging on that closet door. It's large, it's big, it's metal, it's gorgeous, it looks vintage. I love it, I absolutely love it. Okay, and now for the last piece, and, and, and I saved this one for the last piece, not necessarily because it was my absolute favorite, though I do love it, but because of its sure size alone. Whoa, look at this. Try to get it back far enough. Can you see how big this is? This is huge, guys, absolutely huge. Um, I don't see the actual size on it, but it is like a vintage Mickey poster. I love the Mickey. As you can see, it's got 1928 on there. I mean, could you just fall in love with that or what? It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, finer friend Mickey, or says, no finer friend Mickey Mouse since 1928. So, no finer friend since Mickey Mouse since 1928. I adore this. And li listen, the whole thing is wood. It's thick. You can see that? It's thick here. But this whole piece is a solid chunk of wood. This is heavy. Um, this is something I'm gonna have to like nail or screw into the wall. Um, it does have holders on it, right here, right here. So I can actually um, use a screw in the wall to kind of like hold it better. I'm sorry, I'm flipping this all over the place. It's kind of awkward to hold because it is so incredibly large. But can you even imagine? The price tag on this original price was $59.99. I mean, come on. To find this in such amazing shape and condition, I cannot even. All right guys, so what do you think? Was that a pretty good haul? Did I do good? Did I get some great stuff? Um, I think I did. I'm absolutely in love with every single piece of this collection. Again, Jake, I cannot thank you enough for finding this, keeping me in mind, saying, oh my God, you gotta have it. Then when I couldn't get there in time, get to the place, he just went ahead and got it and took it to his house and let me settle up with him uh, earlier today. So thank you so much for doing that. That is amazing. I, I have some of the most amazing and best friends who not only encourage and support my Disney spending and my Disney habits, but they also enable it. So thank you for that. Um, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this haul. It's the first time I've done one and it's a little bit different because typically hauls or things that you go and buy, you know, from the stores or whatever or online. And this was, to me, it was really special because someone else had collected these things and they had it and loved it. And now I'm, I'm able to take in that Disney love and continue it on into my home. And I am so, so thankful and so blessed to have all of these wonderful things. It's just really, really amazing and I'm so happy. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up because you know that thumbs up is a great big Disney hug and I love those magical warm hugs. So make sure you give me that thumbs up. Again, if you are not already a subscriber, please hit that uh, subscribe button, that little red button. That way you're a part of the Rockstar family because I would love to have you here. Speaking of, guys, stay tuned. I, I know I teased you a little bit in a previous video about a very special giveaway that's coming up. It's still happening, it's still on. Like I said, we're waiting for a few things to come in. 
Um, I am partnering up with uh, Braille with Be Our Guest Express, and we are going to do a very special Halloween subscription box, a one-time box. I'm not buying you a subscription, one time. We're gonna do a special one-time Be Our Guest Express Halloween box for a very lucky winner as part of the 500 subscriber giveaway. So in order to win, you have to be a subscriber. Now, um, this isn't the video that you're gonna enter with. It will be coming up later. I'm just letting you know it is still in the works. Basically, um, Abrell is, is partnering with me on this and she's actually going to the parks next week to make some purchases for us to use in this box. So she's going shopping from Walt Disney World in Orlando. So you're gonna have some very special things in this box, okay? That's why it's taking a little bit longer to get it up and get the contest going. So bear with me, be patient. We're at 500, almost 530 subscribers today, which blows my mind. But if you want to be a part of this giveaway a little bit later in a couple of weeks, make sure you are subscribed, okay? Guys, thank you so much for coming and sitting in with me again today. I have loved spending this time with you and sharing some of this new collection. I can't wait to find places to put it in my house. Make sure that you go out, do good, be good, and feel good, and be the change that you want to see. It is up to us. Nothing is going to fix itself. We have to be the positive change out in this world that we want to see coming back, okay? Thank you so much, guys. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I'll see you again real soon. Bye!